let's also give it up for our wonderful City of Howell Police Department. And there's our great chief, George Bazar. Yay, hi Harry. A big hand for Harry and Mary Griffith. This couple's contributed to downtown Howell in so many ways. Uh, they're with uh, their daughter and son, Carol, and Scott Griffith, I believe. And in that carriage is our mayor, Geraldine Mullen. She has lived in the city of Howell. But she lives right downtown since 1972 and raised four children here. And I think she's with some of her grandkids there. And here's our terrific snow court float, sponsored by Irish Construction. The young ladies on this float are being honored for their outstanding community service. Here's the 1467 Transportation Company. Their theme is away from home. And there are so many of our great military people away from home. The fiberglass Christmas tree is rocking out a favorite Christmas song and houses eight subwoofers, four more subwoofers are in the sleigh. They look fantastic. They're singing Christmas carols. Give a big hand for rock and roll P9 performance team, ladies and gentlemen. Drum major. Senior Zach Ellsworth, Junior Matt Miller, Sophomore Ray Miller, the Color Guard Captains, Senior Chelsea Ritz, and Junior Megan Hall. We're so happy to welcome our neighboring communities to this parade, and Heartland has been a big part of this parade for many years. The theme for the truck is Happy Holidays and showcases Heartland's first aerial truck. I think every boat should be decked in lights at all times. It's this absolutely is a beautiful. fine example. It's a correct craft skiing the T-boat and it's being towed by a Hummer. The choir is holding electric candles and choir director is Christine Schandor. This is the spirit of Christmas. Congratulations for a beautiful float. The group's mission is to help American veterans from all wars and to educate the public that many American prisoners of war were left behind. This is a serious. The uh, six foot blue star is significant to military families. The blue star banner hangs in the windows of military families during times of war. Each star represents a son or daughter who is serving in the military. Absolutely. We've, been ha we've had a number of movies filmed here in the past uh, over a year or so, and we're hoping to attract more. Ladies and gentlemen, the Heartland Middle School Marching Band. This yes, the beautiful job they do on this truck. Their theme is Old Man Winter, with the lighted snowplow and angel. This snowplow is actually can be used in case of an emergency. 10,000 lights on steel mesh screens. The engine is a, is a caboose car backlit with LED theatrical lights trimmed with many colored lights and garland. Very nice. Look, there's flowers. That's very well done. You can see why it won the most lights of work. beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for the Walmart float. The theme is Christmas in the Islands. Staff Sergeant Adam Dickinson of the U.S. Army is on the float. He recently returned from a tour of duty in Iraq. Miss Claus, yeah, let's give a big hand here for Staff Sergeant Adam Dickinson. This is an authentic country carriage pulled by Star, a seven-year-old Morgan Mayor with Ron Parrish, head of the Mountain Division. He must celebrate Jesus, the true spirit of Christmas. Third year in the parade. And there's over 6,000 lights on this float. It's made from a deck and wooden cardboard. Howell oh. High School pom-poms performed to the music of the Howell High thing. Well, I, don't know. I think they're performing to their own yeah, music, I but that's so okay. Too. They're doing it, they don't need music. They won the Grand Marshall Award. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Livingston Educational Service Agency. Nice job, Beautiful guys. Beautiful job. Very like cool. Ranger, this is stunning. They love to pull things. They're bred to work with farmers to pull milk carts. There is definitely a shortage of milk carts these days, so they're being put to work here in the parade. And we have an 
opossum. I think this is the first opossum. Way to the crown opossum. And what an apple. Oh my gosh, how wonderful. You know, I've made it. I have decided this year I am not walking by a Salvation Army kennel without putting something in. There's so much need out there right now. Even if you just put in a quarter. Flow was built in two weeks by nine people. That's pretty impressive. Took 40 hours. Ah, they had the paint center and body shop mechanics and staff. They had trained professionals. Good job, trained professionals. Nice job, Brownie Troop 141. They've got over 10,000 lights on this road. Very nice. And you spent Christmas in Mexico, I'm I sure. I lived in Mexico. I know, I know. They did a good job. I think it's really uh, something that uh, speaks a lot for the community and a lot for the Fantasy Lights Parade because we've got all the big boxes like to participate in this event. They participate in this parade, they know. Here's the parking lot. More dogs. <laughs> dogs pulling, dogs working. The theme is snow dogs. They live by a 2008 Best of Breed winner, Jacob. Six, seventh, and eighth graders are in the band. Nearly 150 students. Many decorated with lights and holiday ornamentation. They have fun with this. It's their 11th year with us. Um, Livingston Essential Transportation Service. Thank you for all the work you do, both organizations. Nice Hi, job, Katrina. guys. Christmas music, a fog machine for smoke, and coming out of the chimney. About six to eight thousand lights. Very beautiful. That gazebo is just a stunner every year in this parade. We love Remax. We thank you so much for participating. So Remax Platinum Group. Merry Christmas. Very nice. Stop in and see their fantastic gingerbread houses. They are just beautiful, made by members of the community, businesses. Maybe some of you did one. But look at all oh, that is just charming. Uh, the floats constructed in modules, which makes it easy to assemble. They have over 11,000 lights. Very, very nice. First National Bank, very big supporter. Um, uh, of so many things here in this community. Great things for uh, all of this. The Chamber uh, works so closely with First National. We love you guys and we love your flow. Thank you so nice much. Job. Pam Reach is one of the founders of the Fantasy of Life. She's one of the people who had this crazy idea 26 years ago. Let's do a nighttime parade and decorate everything up in lights. Children's Delight Award. Of course, it's the Howell Fire Department bringing us Santa Claus, and we need to bring our Grand Marshals up here. This float was originally constructed from an old hay wagon. It's since been modified. It uh, has over 200 pounds of reindeer and supporting chassis and 600 pounds of steel. There's more than 20,000 lights on this. Uh, Santa's float's pulled by uh, the fire department's new brush truck. Nice job, guys. Very, very nice. And here's the big and guy. Santa, you've got a job for our Grand Marshals to do. Certainly do. The moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to count down from three, and we're going to say Harry and Mary. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Harry and Mary! Hey, Harry! Hey, Harry! Merry nice Christmas, job, everybody! Santa. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Santa. Thank you, Fire Department. Nice what a beautiful job on this floor. Well, you guys Absolutely did a great gorgeous. job. Looks wonderful. Nice job, Santa. Good Thank job, you. Good job, Harry and Mary. Thank you. We couldn't start Christmas without you. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when love comes to me.